Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the volume of a cone. So how much ice cream can you stuff down in that ice cream cone? That's what we're talking about, the space inside the cone. So first we're going to look at a cylinder because a cylinder is very similar to a cone and a cone can fit inside a cylinder. So we're going to look at a cylinder that has the same radius and the same height as a cylinder and we can actually take that cone and stick it inside the cylinder. Now the reason I'm doing that is to show you the volume of a cylinder is just the base area which is pi r squared because the base is a circle times the height. That's all there is to find the volume of this big cylinder. Now it, looking at the picture three of these cones can fit inside of this cylinder. It looks like it could be two, but it's actually three. So the volume is a one to three ratio. So all I have to do is find the volume of the cylinder and then divide it by three and I will have the volume of the cone that fits inside it. So if I buy a cylinder of ice cream, I can fill up three cones of the same height with the same radius um, and so my friends and I can share a cup a tub of ice cream. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say that our radius is 3 and our height is 4. What is the volume of the cylinder? Or I'm sorry, of the cone? Well, we were first going to find the volume of the cylinder, so I'm going to take pi. The radius is 3, so times 3 squared times the height. The height, interior height is 4. So that's going to be 9 times 4, which is 36, and you always stick the pi behind it, so 36 pi. And that actually gives me the volume of the whole cylinder. Now I'm going to divide that by 3, so just divide 36 by 3, and that gives us 12 pi. And that is the volume of the cone that fits inside of that. Volume is always three-dimensional, so I'm going to put units cubed. So if it's inches, it's in inches cubed. If it's centimeters, it's centimeters cubed because volume is three-dimensional. So let's look at a quick little overview sheet. So here's our cone. Our volume equals to one-third pi r squared h. Or you can actually just write pi r squared h and put a three underneath it and just divide it by three that way. It's up to you. So the ratio of the cone to the cylinder is a 1 to 3 ratio. It takes three cones to fill up one cylinder with the same height and the same radius. And then here is the cone. If the radius is 4, the height is 5, you plug in 4 for r, 5 for the height. This comes out to be 80 pi over 3. So the final answer would be 80 pi thirds units cubed. Hope this video was helpful.